When did you first start having doubts about Darwinian evolution? Well, I believed Darwinian evolution all through high school and college and graduate school because my instructors told me Darwinian evolution was true. And as a biochemist studying biochemical systems, you come across a lot of complicated cellular machinery. And sometimes you, I would look at it and would give me pause, but again, my instructors told me Darwinian processes produce these things, and they must have known what they were talking about. And uh, so I took their word for it, but it really didn't have much to do with my day-to-day -day work as a, as a scientist. But then uh, when I was an associate professor at Lehigh in the late 80s, I read a book named Evolution, A Theory and Crisis by an Australian biochemist by the name of Michael Denton. And in that book, he outlined a number of problems for Darwinian theory, very serious problems, that I had never, never thought of myself and none of my teachers had ever told me about. And at that point, I got mad. Uh, I thought I was being led down the, the garden path and nobody was pointing out these obvious difficulties and I was starting to wonder why. And so from that point on, I, I became very interested in, in evolution.